All right, guys. Uh, so we're going to uh, disassemble the front uh, driver door panel here. So we can do the speaker installation down here. And we're going to be doing a tweeter modification up here. On the passenger side, I've already taken off the door panels, as you can see. Um, the door panel, I set it right over here so we take a quick look. Um, you have the retaining pieces in these locations. It's just a mirror image, you know, on the driver door. Um, you know, from the passenger side. Uh, there is a hidden screw behind this little piece here. There is... This little silver trim piece here will come off and the silver piece here has a little tang that hooks around this way here and the window switch itself has a tang that kind of goes up here. So you'd want to start uh, from the bottom here and you're going to want to pry out and then this piece will come out and then this one here just start backwards and then you'll work your way up and then this one will come out uh, revealing that there is two screws here that hold this piece here together. There is a hidden screw that is behind this little cover. This one's pretty easy once you get that little cover taken off. And then down here, they have two, uh, uh, was it seven millimeter? I believe it was, maybe it was six. Uh, but there's two of them, there's one right there, and there's another one that's right over here uh, to release the bottom half. <clears throat> For the, the tweeter that's up here, uh, it's got two push pin pieces that hold it up here and another uh, like a metal kind of uh, push in tab that gets stuck up here and then that will remove the tweeter cover. Uh, once you remove all these components here, um, the bottom of the door, you'll have to just kind of pull it. The, uh, the plastic pieces feel like you were about to break something before they release. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but it is necessary if you want to remove the door panel. So I, I started with the uh, removing of some of the hidden uh, features. Uh, this is the chrome piece that was placed right here. Um, notice on this side here, you have the little metal pieces here that lock into the plastic here and right here. And then there's that little hook that I was telling you about. Once you remove that, if you take your a little screwdriver, or if you got the plastic tools, it's even better. Uh, this is prized up, and then once that's up and out of the way, uh, you can disconnect it easily by pulling the little tab here, and then just releasing it, uh, revealing those two hidden screws. And then the little side cover here, um, again, should probably use a plastic tool, but don't have any at the moment. Um, usually a little quick uh, pry from the top and then voila and then there's the little black hidden screw there so and then for uh, for these sizes it is a T25 um, they're just very simple to remove so you know just gotta loosen them up you know once you take them all out obviously the door panel should come right off so removing the little tweeter cover here, you know, just gently stick underneath and just kind of give it a little bit of prying here. And then uh, the little plastic pieces will release themselves. And there's that little other uh, metal one. There she goes. And revealing, you know, what needs to be done for the little tweeter section. And same thing, all we got to do is squeeze this little, little tab right down here. And then, voila! And then that takes care of the tweeter section. Um, so that part's all set. I have uh, the two screws here on the bottom still to do. And then I got to start uh, just removing the screws and then pulling the bottom of this until all those little plastic pieces release themselves. Alright guys, um, I just removed all the uh, screws that hold the door panel in place. And like I already showed you there, to remove the tweeter. Um, a good place to store all this stuff is uh, just throw it right inside the pocket. Um, the bottom screws are seven millimeter, just for those who are wondering. Um, so now here comes the fun part, where we get to pull those plastic retainers out. Again, if uh, if you look at this other door panel here, if you get uh, close, 
you know to where these are it will uh, make them much easier to come out if you have the plastic pry bars uh, I'm gonna do this by hand so this way I don't mar anything up and then uh, once I have all those out it's just as simple as uh, unscrewing the speakers and uh, Brendo ST is uh, showing you how we are replacing them with something a little bit better All we got to do from behind here is uh, just unplug a few items here and then for the door handle you don't have to actually um, disconnect it you know by the cable uh, but there's these little uh, plastic little pieces that kind of hold this in place just trying to do it with one hand it's a little difficult but we seem to be managing and then, there we go just turn sideways pull that out and the only thing that holds this all together is this little push pin that is uh, a big old pin in there, that's what it's called. So um, you can uh, easily, or I should say safely, remove it if you'd like. We're just going to uh, put a small incision right here and it's going to save us a lot of time and hassle because sometimes plastic is stronger than you think. Okay, so I made that uh, that small incision uh, and pulled that through. Um, it's not necessary, although if you do want to keep it um, factory like the little reflective covers uh, that go right here, you'd have to remove the reflective cover in order to help get that uh, panel released uh, so that way it comes out. Um, but it's not going to harm any kind of performance. You know, this uh, piece right here, it is sticky, so you can just put it back together. So I just kind of line it back up to where it needs to be and just give it a little bit of a press and uh, it will uh, hold itself back together. So no harm done there. The uh, panel, I laid it out right over here, right on the ground. Um, you know, if you do break these, you can usually find them at the hardware store or you can find them online. Uh, usually you get a whole bunch of them all together. So just kind of give you a, a look and see what these are in case you need to replace them. Um, as you see, they're just slotted, so they just kind of slide and pop in place. Nothing big there. So, uh, for the speaker, because we're doing the speakers here, um, they left two Torx head screws, T25. And then this one here, I'm, I know it's metric. Um, I believe it's a 5.5. However, if you do not have a 5.5, the uh, 732 does fit it. Um, pretty snug, not perfectly. But these aren't uh, torqued down, you know, to any kind of extreme, so that's not necessary anyways. Uh, long as things are nice and tight, obviously. Okay, so we just removed those three screws that held it in place, you know, disconnected the speaker. Just for some of those that were kind of wondering um, what these stock speakers are, they are a 4 ohm, 25 watt, obviously made in China, nothing too fancy. Um, what we're going to have to do though to the speaker in order to fit the new speaker on though I'll be showing you in just a moment uh, where we have to uh, reuse part of the speaker housing so we're actually going to be cutting the factory speaker out of here in order to fit them back in place. Alright guys so now we're on to the rear driver door uh, again passenger door we have already taken apart and it's just the mirror image again on this one here. So we have the passenger door panel skin here. Uh, same thing, it's held in by yet again another numerous amounts of push pins. Um, the two that are missing over here, they're actually still stuck to the door. I have to just kind of pop them out. Uh, sometimes that happens, you just pry them out gently, same thing. Nothing too fancy. Uh, this one here, same thing, has the hidden uh, screw that's behind the little door. And then we have this here, 
Uh, this one is you just need to kind of fish something in here and then pry up from the bottom. I already did it because these can be quite a uh, pain in the ass, I guess we'll say. Because look, I mean, look how meaty these clips are. Um, and then this same thing, just kind of give it a little squeeze. Voila, you know, the door handle slash window switch uh, accommodation piece has come right off, revealing hidden screws. One down here, one right here. Um, just for those kind of wondering, uh, the easiest way to actually get these off is, is if you push along the shorter side where, where the door handle kind of pivots here, it kind of pushes up on the other side. I'm gonna try to do this here. And then you can just get a, a small little flathead screwdriver. Just kind of get just underneath it. And then just give it a little tug. Voila, and then there's the other screw that was laying right behind it. So maybe I could do this one all together real quick and show you how simple this door is. It's a lot easier than the front door. Uh, a lot less uh, hidden stuff. Just those two things. You don't have to worry about the tweeter there on the door. Although we will be installing the tweeters into this vehicle. Of course, this is the ST1 package, so it didn't come with any premium sound or anything. Uh, fancy like that So we get this one last one the way down in here Again, you know, this is a t25 uh, If you have magnetic tips uh, Sure makes things a little bit handier uh, If not you can always just hook a, a magnet to the side of the screwdriver in it. That'll help out quite a bit So let's find out and see if we can uh, get this door panel off because I tell you man these these plastic clip sometimes oh, they suck I'm trying not to pull on the door it's getting too hard yeah she's on there so we'll have to get something to get our, our fingers underneath here to to try to give this uh, relief so once those plastic pieces pop off you know it's it's game of horror for this door skin <laughs> I yeah uh, I did forget to mention right along here they use the uh, looks to be like some kind of a uh, double-sided sticky or something uh, that does kind of give you a little bit more trouble because you have to kind of get through it first but once you get through it you just got to give it a little little tweaks here until it sounds like you're breaking stuff but it's actually just those clips coming undone so and then uh, there's one more right up here right? sure feels like it yeah, there's one more right up in here. Let's see if we can do this multitask in here. And there she goes. So once you remove those, it's the same thing as the uh, front door. We have, uh, you know, the stuff coming through. You know, obviously, to make sure that doesn't get caught up in there. But you have the door handle. And the, the door handle... Same thing, just gotta find those little little tabs, and give them a little squeeze, and then she'll pop right out. Turn it sideways, usually kind of does the trick. There she goes, and door skin. And another door skin down. So, there we go. Uh, obviously the rear speakers are, they look a little bit different. It's essentially the same thing, except for this time, they decided not to uh, not to use them torque screws. I don't know why they did two torque screws and then one of those, um, you know, regular hex-headed uh, screw. And why is this one not coming out? So, yeah, there we go. Excellent. So we'll uh, we'll grab our little socket and ratchet here. And then we should be able to unscrew the speaker. And for a reason, right there it goes. Acting a little, a little funky. It's a little older of a set, but yeah, tools are tools. You can never have enough of them. So, we'll do it this way here. So, voila, one. Two.
and three. So let's just set this stuff aside. And then this one here, voila, just like that. And nothing to it. So we're gonna do the exact same modification to this uh, speaker housing slash speaker, and we're cannibalizing it. <laughs> and then uh, then it'll look just like the other ones. And there's a uh, friend OST getting his giblets together. Looks like he, he found a, a spot to run the main power wire uh, from inside the cabin to the outside. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll meet up together and then just do nothing but wiring. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Okay, so here, uh, this is the passenger side speaker uh, that we've already modified the outer housing from the previous speaker. Um, like I was saying, we had to uh, reuse this plastic piece so that we were able to reassemble uh, back to the car uh, to make it look uh, this factory as far as functionality and everything that way it's you're not drilling any holes into the vehicle uh, into the doors or anything like that so you see we cut around um, you could use pretty much a lot of things to cut that we just use uh, a set of side dikes you know, wire cutters uh, just kind of cut around there um, this is where the factory connector came through uh, what we did is we hollowed it out so that way we could run the speakers wire to the speakers here themselves um, and of course here's the factory one here as you can see uh, this is where it would originally connect to the connector so we'll end up cutting this one around here just like the other one um, once that's done uh, we just take a, uh, a utility knife and you just kind of cut just right around here uh, we remove the foam uh, the new speaker comes with you know some new stuff so but that's what the uh, the replacement is and of course these are the you know infinity you know pr 6500 cs speakers um you know they've got the tweeter that we're obviously hooking up in the speaker so this one right here is the modified tweeter um doesn't require you to do anything uh you know fantastic to uh, get it mounted in place <laughs> so um you know, we're, uh, we're just holding it in place with hot glue. Um, it'll do a little excessive, but you know, hot glue, if you ever wanted to return it to the factory, all you gotta do is just remove the tweeter and uh, the hot glue and uh, push in the original tweeter. So, and uh, you know, that's just what it is. It's just a little guy, nothing too fancy. We just hot glue it in place. So I'm gonna get to work on this one. Yeah, and then it'll look just like this one right here. And then once it's like this, all you gotta do is wire it up and it'll bolt in exactly the way it was on the factory. All right, so on this speaker here, and I took the utility knife, as you can see, and I had cut the lip around there. So we're gonna flip it over. And uh, like I said, just using a set of side dikes or wire cutters, whatever you prefer to call them. And if you just get in there and give it a nice little squeeze, and you just gotta just go around each leg here. like so and then uh, these are a little bit thicker so they require a little bit more strength I'm gonna cut them a little bit more of an angle this way here sometimes you might have to cut them twice because it is plastic after all and sometimes never underestimate plastic there, there we go and we got one last leg here so we'll give it a nice little chomp and then this little stuff here um, we're going to be removing this, so we'll give this stuff a cut because I'll have to we'll have to drill that out a little bit. You know, so that way we can feed these speaker wires to the speaker. And there we go. And hopefully, what you're left with once you get that out is something similar to this. You know, I'll clean it up just a little bit more, just so that way it doesn't have as many uh, sharp edges. Um, the speaker itself isn't really that uh, large so it's not like uh, you know, it's not like it's gonna come too close to it you know you can see it's very well protected but I just want to clean it up just a little bit make it a little bit nicer so I'll go back to that clean it up a little bit all right guys so I just uh, finished up the driver door 
uh, speaker here. As you can see, it's uh, just like the other one. You know, I cleaned out everything along the edge here. And then I reinstalled the stuff that they provide you. You know, nice little foam stuff there with the sticky back on one side. Uh, then I drilled four pilot holes and then uh, centered the speaker best I could and then screwed it in place. Uh, the screws I used were like the medium length ones. Uh, they do protrude a little bit, uh, but that does not uh, affect when it snaps into the other plastic piece on the driver door. So no need to worry, but if you want, you could always use the shorter screws. That's entirely up to you. Alrighty. Oh, here, I'm to figure out that we're, uh, we're drilling holes because it's an ST1 vehicle. Uh, so the ST, what, two and three packages, I think, came you with have the, the Yeah, they have the premium so sound. They already have like an indentation where the original ones were. Um, we're just marking the center of it. These ones are a tad bit smaller than the uh, factory ones are. We're going off of the off the template that we have right there. Uh, this is two and a half. Uh, that seems to be just a hair bit bigger. So we'll have to just kind of get something to make the hole a little bit larger to make sure it fits. Yay, that's what we're doing. Yay. Well, let's, uh, let's find out. Let's ruin my door. Let's ruin a door. We only got one chance to screw this up. One shot, one opportunity. <laughs> Would you take it? Uh, let's see. Make sure it's centered about as center as I can get it. You look centered to you. Alright, here we go. How deep is that thing? Oh, that wasn't too far off. You can know. We'll see how uh, if we can get her to fit in the hole. Yeah. So, like I said, it seems to be just it's a, just a hair so. too short. So, like a little piece of sandpaper. If you have a Dremel, it would perfectly work, but we don't have one, so we might just hand sand it or take a little razor to it to get a little extra out of it. So, yeah, that was pretty close, though. Yeah. So. Close enough. It's yeah. it's Almost it's a beginning. It's gonna do exactly what we need it to do. Exactly. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys. Uh, so this is with the tweeter installed on the ST1 package. So I hogged the hole out just a tad bit more to fit it in. And on the back side, it is looking very nice, very flush. As soon as it tightened down, it went very flush. I straightened it out just like so. So that's what we're looking for. Looks really good. Can't wait to hear it.